creating contour cuts with Flexi is very easy. First, we have to have our design. In this case, I'm going to choose star. Uh, once we have our design, we go to effects, click on contour cut, and here's our line. You can see it appear around the object. In the design central, there's a few options we can choose. We can uh, uh, change our offset and how far that cut line is from the object. Uh, we can change uh, what type of line we want to have. Maybe we just want to do perforation, so we're going to do some dotted line. I usually will leave it on a solid line. If we have a text, we can choose with holes. Then once we're happy with design, we can just click on apply, and here's our contour line. I'm going to show you how to, uh, when I mention object with holes, let's say with letter B, we need to cut, and we're going to go back to effects contour cut and if you select with holes you can see it will cut it inside and then we can set it to zero it will cut exactly on the edge of that object we can click apply if you need to change properties of your object we don't have to start from the beginning we can simply select choose select within tools for example select your start burst go to properties and change properties of that object the size of the angle of the arms even add more arms and uh, our contour line will change with that, as you can see. Okay, if you're ready to go, we can select our two objects, click on Rip and Print, and over here, we'll see it put, it's putting our registration marks depending on what image, uh, what cutter we're going to cut it on. We can go to Contour Cut tab to change those properties. If we have more than one cutter, I can say I can cut it to Muto. Uh, and it will add our Muto marks to it. I can do on uh, graph tech. It will create, put the graph tech marks to it. And I can set it also to send it as a separate jobs. Uh, if I want to print on a one printer and cut it on one cutter, or I can just repeat my print job or counter job if I need to. Now we're done, we can just click send. And uh, those jobs will go to a production manager and we'll have two jobs. Uh, one will show up in our printer queue and the second one will be in our uh, it's processing the second one will be in our graph tech queue actually in a muto queue now when we send it for the cutter